up to the premium room. Alright, so this card in particular, at the end of the battle, there's a chance an enemy will drop, like, this little gold premium card or something. And it goes, it runs through my entire deck that I currently have equipped, and uh, whatever it picks, uh, it turns a normal card into a premium card. Ooh. So that, like, reduces uh, the card points on that, so... The higher the card value, the better. Oh. Okay. Uh, do... Oh, did you did you hear that uh, PlayStation was gonna release a new uh, or their uh, new premium uh, tier as far as their PlayStation Plus uh, network is concerned? Uh oh, I may have heard of this. Um. Uh, something about playing games as far back as. PS1 and PS2? Mm hmm Yep. That sounds exciting. Yep. Honestly. And, like, I've, I've heard a lot of people are, like, giving, giving them crap for it and, like, not really appreciating it. I think it's okay. Like, you don't have to play those games that far back if you get the top tier. Right? Like, you don't have to. Right. Right, you can just Most people the, say, oh, just do emulation. Yeah, and just get the regular one. It's 100 bucks, 100 bucks a year. That's fine. Right? Um... See, with, uh, with me, I have Xbox Game Pass. I have Impa Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. And I pay 15 bucks a month for that. And I wish I could go back and play all the Xbox games that I want to play. Like, in a lot of ways. And they're, they're slowly increasing the library, and, like, I'll give them that. But, like, I wish I could do that. Um, like, uh, uh, let's see. But, like, I mean, you can still access older games on the Xbox Game Pass, but it's not not a whole library, not a huge. I feel like PlayStation's going to make it much bigger. Like, are they just uh, going to continue adding on games over time? Yep. I mean, yep. Nintendo's already doing that with the, the Nintendo Switch Online library. Mm hmm Yep. Yep. So, I mean, I was okay with PlayStation. I was like, you know what? I have, and that, here's something, this is something that drives me nuts, like, whenever a company like that comes out with, like, a new feature like that, they're like, oh, no, how, how come they're, how come they're charging me to do that, whatever, it's like, okay, for me, I will pay for extra what, Okay, alright, here's a question for you folks, uh -huh. would you, ra oh, wait, hold on, let me try to do this, I don't remember if it, like, slows down, oh, no, it just stops around, one. Okay, cool. Hey. Um, okay, would you rather pay $100 a year just to access the whole library of games that PlayStation will provide for their service? Or, would you rather... Uh, well, well, I was going to say two things, but the third thing would be uh, emulation, you know, which is a, uh, a not official way to... Correct. Play the games as they're intended. Yeah. Um. So this, uh, the second thing I was going to say, or would you rather uh, purchase each and every individual game separately that is listed on that service? You know. Yeah. Great question there. So it would depend. Um, it would depend on how many games there were there were there that I wanted to play. Right, like, uh, what if I just want to play, like, one or two games that I love from my childhood? In that case, I'll pay for those games individually. If it's, like, an entire library where uh, I have access to it and I can play them at any time, even games that I wanted to play but I never got to, that I didn't get the game or didn't purchase it or whatever, maybe. But after a couple of years of paying $100 a year, after five years, that's 500 bucks. But to be fair, though, even in that that sense, even for older games, you're gonna end up paying like thirty bucks at the very least, right? Like, so for example, uh, if you wanted to buy a game that you had previously, what what's the average that you that you've spent on games that you owned previously, on games that you purchased on eBay, like on average? Mm, that's a good question. Like I probably. I've gone like as low as maybe maybe twenty 
Flux, <laughs> yeah. maybe. I know I paid a Wario Land, or no, Wario World for like maybe 80. Yeah, I bet you haven't spent 500 bucks on older games on eBay. Uh, not, not 500 bucks, no. Right. Wait, so, wait, you mean in total or just like in total, one game? In total. Um, probably not. Right. So, and, and you're, and you're, and you're a video game aficionado. You have a video game channel. There's other reasons why that's occurring, why you're purchasing games there. So, to me, oh, it's going straight. Yeah. Nice. nice. Bam. That's pretty good. That'll do. But um, anywho, so the uh, uh, that's the uh, that's what I'm saying is like okay, it's worth it if there's a whole bunch of games and you'll end up spending over the course of five years five hundred dollars on those games. It's not worth it, oh, unless there's other perks to it. Like that's that's the thing. It's like I mean I don't know if you get access to like games early. Oh, that's a that's Ooh. a lot of Google. Oh. Okay, okay, uh, I want to get the Lady Luck 7, so it's going to be right at the cure. Hey! Nice! Tanner, have you ever thought about going to Vegas? Uh, oh, oh, what, and gamble? Yeah, you're really good at stopping things at the right time. Like, really good at it. Okay, Every, well, almost every I, I game think, we I play... Think... You can oh, oh, well, you like can do it well are, you, are you also like thinking about um, when we were playing Mario vs. Donkey Kong? I'm thinking I'm like think, with the presents. Right, I'm thinking I'm thinking with the presents. I'm also thinking with uh, I, I think it is also it, thinking with chance time on Mario Party. Hell no! Now you have Hell no! Now you haven't been lucky. Well, okay, okay, wait, wait. But actually to be perfectly clear, I would say uh chance time on Ooh, that's not what I want to do. Uh specifically chance time on the first Mario Party on the N64, not Mario Party Superstars. Right. Because like uh, those those dice blocks that well, you can see them well enough. Yeah, like uh, the the colors or emblems for each character is large mm -hmm. enough that like I can see it. Otherwise, like the blocks you see in Superstars mm -hmm. are uh, a lot more smaller. Exactly. Um, but uh, your original question: Would I go to Vegas to gamble? Yeah. I think, like, based on like, like being able to see, like, patterns on a, on like when the the wheel's spinning or something like that, and be able to predict when it's gonna I, stop. Honestly, uh, I, I know it's gonna sound like uh, kind of a downer, but I don't think my mother would approve of that. I I don't think so either. But at the same time, it's like, hey, you know, does your mother disapprove of money? <laughs> like, I wouldn't. I mean, like, uh, I play cards because I feel like I can, like, there's some level of skill involved. Strategy, things like that. I don't do slots because I suck at that kind of stuff. Right, like, that's why. I, like, I don't, I don't look at, um, like, when we're doing the chance times, I can't tell what's coming up next and I cannot ever time it right. So that's what I'm saying, is like, like, like you seem to be able to is do that. Is it possible that, like, some of the slot machines are rigged, though? Well, yeah, the house always wins. But okay, okay. Well, I mean, like, like actually rigged. Like, uh, um, designed to not pay out. Right. I'd say yeah. I'd say yeah in a lot of ways. But I feel like it's also the way people play. You know, they're playing, they get free drinks, they get drunk, okay. playing more. I vaguely remember. Um, I guess when we started going down to California. Mm -hmm. To go on vacation as a tradition. Uh huh. Um, I vaguely remember uh, we would uh, go to that one mall in Prim. Uh huh. And then if you, you were to go, okay, you know where that William Sonoma store is. Mm hmm. Yeah. So like you know if you walked into that store from that parking lot and then leave that store mm -hmm. and you would enter the main part of the mall, you would go left, go straight ahead. There's like right. these escalators. Uh huh. I vaguely remember going up there with you, Zeke, maybe my dad and grandpa. Uh huh. And uh, I think uh, uh, my dad might have given me like a roll of quarters. That's funny. To um, to try out uh, the slot machines or something. Oh, nice. I, I think that was the first thing that 
uh, I walked up to because yeah. it was just like right there when you got there. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, that was it. I got you. Um, however, I will say, I have gambled money on a different type of uh, uh, machine. It was a it was a crane game, or actually no, it's like a it was like a horizontal crane game. Oh, like with the quarters. Uh, oh, no, 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 Crane. I thought you were thinking about the one where, like, put in money and it pushes the quarters out into, like, a little trough. It's, uh... It had it on at Fast Guess for a minute, and then, like, it got out of You Have you been to the Provo Town Center recently? Because I think it's still there. Really? So it's just outside of Cinemark. Okay. And, uh, it's, uh, this thing where you have to, uh, stick this, uh, key. Yeah! Quote-unquote key. I have never won that. I think I've spent too much money on that, to be really? honest. I don't remember what I was going for. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was like a new phone, maybe it was like a Nintendo 3DS or 2DS uh -huh. or something. Maybe an iPad, I don't remember what it was. Right. But I sp spent so much, well, at least physical dollars mm -hmm. that I had on me. Yeah. And I didn't win Jack. Right. At all. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And like, I, I tried so hard just trying to, um, because it's Be just, precise. Time, just timing and just getting into the right spot. Y yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. I tried to observe that, mm -hmm. but I could never get it. Yeah. It's not designed. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I've tried to do that. One time, I was at the mall, right, and Barbara was shopping. So I was hanging out with I was hanging out with Caleb outside. I was just, like, he, he, was, uh, he was really, really, like, two. And so I was, like, I was sitting there, and I had my phone, and I was, like, looking at that thing. I'm like... I'm gonna win that, but first I'm gonna look up how to beat it on my phone. <laughs> so, so I pulled it up, and it turns out it's not designed to pay out or to actually like let you win. Well, that should be illegal if Until... it's if it's like 100% impossible to win. Oh, it's not 100% impossible. It'll win, and it'll allow you to win as soon as it's made more money than it spent on that item. Wait, so you can win as soon as you've paid enough? To win as, the island. as soon as the machine has collected enough money, then it'll be like, okay, you can win this prize. Take right. This. That's bull crap. Exactly. I was, I was like, I, I was looking at, it and I had a couple of bucks. I'm like, I'm gonna go try that. Okay. First, I'm gonna look up how to win. Oh, and I'm looking at this like, of are you games. freaking kidding me? I wonder. Hang on. I wonder if I still have this on my phone. Do I still have it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, go to the app store okay. and look up Toriba. Or Torba, it's T O R E B A. Torba. So uh, I've seen this, this on. Uh, it's a crane game. Okay, not just a crane game. Mm -hmm. Um, so with that, you uh -huh. can play. You can connect to a crane game machine that's all the way over in Japan. Gosh, that's spectacular! And if you win prizes, you uh -huh. actually get those prizes shipped to you. That is, so, I mean, it's obviously a cash grab, but gosh, that's brilliant. But a crane game overseas and you could do it on your phone in the US. Gosh, that's brilliant. That That's that's pretty clever. I'll, I'll give them that. I don't think I've won anything. I haven't paid, I don't think I've paid a whole lot to begin with though. It's like, right. I think it was um, downloading the app for the first time. Maybe it was like a, an event or something where, like, you know how people uh -huh. would like do a little sponsorship, like, hey, yeah. like, uh, this video is sponsored by this app, mm -hmm. and then uh, put in like this download code to win a couple of credits that uh, you can uh, try a couple of times for free or something. Then after that, then you pay your own money for that. Gotcha. Let's see this. I have five five plays for free. Oh, oh, you've already downloaded it. Yeah, let's see this. If I don't win anything in these five tries, I'm deleting the app. Uh, okay, yeah, go ahead. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, available after five tutorial plays. So there's only certain things you can play for. That's crap. I wanted to win that Cinder Club. Oh wait, so uh, oh um, so. Uh, jog my memory. So you're required to pay a certain amount of credits just to attempt to get that item. Is that right? Right. Let's see. Yeah. yeah, so I think like the the better the prize, the more expensive it will be. I gotcha. 
And I'm just like scrolling through this trying to see if there's anything worth using my five tries on. I'm gonna try them right now. Let's see. I don't know why I've been using my uh, enemy card just to boost up my numbers. I mean, that would have been very helpful. Again, this is what happens when I'm simultaneously playing the game yeah, and trying, then trying, trying to have trying a conversation. To at the same time. Um, let's do Cure. All right. So you can... Oh, that's a cute little salamander. Wait, like a real salamander or like... No, 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 no. just like a plushie. Okay, I, I thought uh, you were gonna say it was like one of those uh, salamander Pokemon from oh, no, Sun no. Moon. Uh -oh. Ooh, that was quick. Okay. My goodness. Oh, here we go. We went a Pokemon thing. Oh, it sold out. That's crap. Yeah, that's, that's also the thing. There's like a limited amount of items. Oh yeah. They might display it, but. Uh, it may not be available. Gosh, so you're gonna I have to go for something that is a fortune from this. That's such a smart idea. Well done, Japan. Well done! I can't be angry at you. Oh, look, I can win a shame. No, I don't want to do this tutorial. I mean, the t tutorials never killed anybody. I mean, unless, uh, I don't know, I guess, I guess there are some worse tutorials to go through, like, in Kingdom Hearts 2, it takes, like, uh, at least three hours just to get through it and then into the main part of the game. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Give me those Moogle points, give me those premium cards, give me an another premium card! Uh, what looks good? How about... Uh, I could go for a blizzard. Holy cow, dude. There's so much crap on here. That's blowing me away. I had no idea that was a thing. Do they still have those uh, Disney Sum Sum plushies? No. I mean, that's one of the prizes I remember seeing. You know what? I'm gonna go for a Jimmy Good Man. What, it's just a generic gingerbread man? Oh, look, man? a what, in vehicle 12 volt cigar lighter. <laughs> Compact foot bath. Children's violin toy. Wow. Mm. Now, these 3D shark shaped sandals, they look good to me. Uh, okay. And I'm just okay, getting let's see premium upgrades up the wazoo. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there anything? Reservation failed, not enough TP. I think TP's the in-game credit, I think. Is that it? That's crap, but I have five free plays. Free bull crap. Let's see. This is so crazy, dude. Like, I'm blown away at the ingenuity of this. Like, whoever thought of this is brilliant. Like, you know what? Why does someone need to go somewhere to play an arcade or to uh, play a claw game? Why can't they just do it from their phone and we ship it to them? I mean, even shipping costs from Japan for these kind of things? It's crazy. Oh, that blows me away. There we go. Gosh, that's crazy, dude. That blows me away. Now, give me that CP. Um, right. Uh, 
Sure, why not? Whack one more. Take him out. Get that XP. Then I'll, I'll uh, arrange my new deck afterwards. That's cool, Tanner. I had no idea that was a thing. I'm gonna delete it. Oh, that's been... I think that's been around for... I'm willing to say it might be a decade by now. Really? I, I could be wrong. It was like, um... I think uh, I remember watching it on YouTube uh, mm -hmm. while I was in college. Yes. And then... Uh, it was like by the, the Fine Bros, or mm -hmm. uh, the React channel. I think yeah. it's renamed now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So crazy. Freeze. Freeze. Gosh, Freeze. that's so crazy. That blows me away. Aladdin. Oh, let's see. I was gonna look up the key. Uh, yeah. Key game arcade. Oh, the, the the one I had issues with at the mall. Yeah. So this is it. So there was a lawsuit that was actually like, um, uh, there was a lawsuit against the creators of that game. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, uh, nowhere on the Keymaster machine do defendants inform consumers of the truth. The machines are rigged so that players can only win prizes at certain yeah. times. At that point, there's just like no such thing as luck. There isn't, or even skill. Oh, and it was, it. uh, and guess who made it? Uh, the creators won? No, no, guess who made the, uh, the game? Oh, uh, who? Sega. Sega? Sega did. Okay. Wow, that, uh... I'm hurt! And you Sega. can actually still buy them. Wait, wait, you can, you can buy those, uh, those machines? Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. And I, and I thought uh, Konami had it worse, or maybe it is worse, or not not as worse as Konami, because like now they've just uh, made their games uh, integrate their video games integrated with gambling. Yeah. Wow. You can buy one of those machines for like four grand. Oh. And Ooh. they're they're advertising here on their site that you can make five hundred to a thousand more monthly with our Keymaster machine. So, wait, so you can uh, rent these m machines? You can buy them. Or buy them? Yep. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Well, like, honest to goodness, Tanner, I'd buy one. You know what I... Here's, here's how I would do it, right? So, I'd buy that machine, have the top prize be, like, the newest phone that's out there. Mm -hmm. Every carrier has a buy one, get one free on that phone. Right? So I buy one for me, like let's say I want to get a S22 Ultra, right? And I buy it, okay? I'm gonna spend about 1200 bucks on that, on that prize. That machine is gonna ensure that I make 12,000 or 12, uh, $1,700 before it lets anybody win. Sorry, I, I was like, uh, well, no, no, no. So, like, the machine, it will only pay out after a specific amount of time. Right. Or a spe specific amount of money has been put into it. All right. Uh, how, how much would you rig it to? I need to make at least 25%. Okay, like 25% of... Right, but the, but the key is, though, is when you first install it, when you first put it in place... It's gonna cost you probably about ten grand total for everything for the first month. You're gonna be out ten G's. Ooh. But what you do is you slowly ramp up the percentage that you get. So the first month of that machine is there, the first five, six months, 
you're paying out all the time, right? Right. You're barely breaking even. You're making a little bit more money than you're spending. But more people know, holy crap, that machine pays out. And then you just slowly ramp it up so that, like people are putting in more money and they're like, well, I guess it's just not my time, right? So you, you rig it slowly. But yeah, that's like how they work. So kind of crappy, but you know, there's worse things. Oh, the new Zeon cards would come in handy. Um, I Sorry, I'm just like in the middle of like trying to clean up my deck and like strategizing. Yeah, it's all like, good. Go for it. Go for, for it. Um, okay, I got 40 more points to spare. I don't have a lot. Um, 40. No, I want like 40 even. 40 even. Ah, I'll just add like two of these. Um, okay, we're good. Let's see, uh, this is the barrel spider. Yep, called it. Nice. Cause uh we're like I've already been in this type of room before. Mm -hmm. So it's not like um So the rooms aren't like randomly generated. Oh gotcha. If uh you ever thought of that. Mm -hmm. It's just like depending on the card, it has like a certain a certain Yeah, I'm butchering my English tonight. Uh depending on the card, the map card that you use to uh progress. Mm -hmm. It's like a fixed um, design of the room. It doesn't like change all the time. Mm -hmm. I got gotcha. you. Um, okay, I think we can go in here now. I need zero. Literally, wait. Oh no, not this room. We're wrong room. I, I went <laughs> wrong door. Wrong way. I picked the wrong door. Ah, uh, you died wrong. I, I did. Ooh, but I got 1,400 Moogle points, though. So maybe I ought to... Buy more cards, because why not? Or... Actually, no, I'll, I'll get the I'll get the Calm Bounty. <laughs> I, I, I think we spent a lot of time in this room and mm -hmm. talking. I agree. So let's, let's, just, let's just get a move on. Okay, so that room is to the left oh wait no that's a boss room so we'll come back to that later oh yeah so like the the next room over i can just create a save point uh-huh and then um have that next event and then just come back here then just do the boss mm -hmm. i like it yeah. oh oh card bouncing card what is it Ooh, yeah. uh, right. Uh, let's do save. Yes, six even. Nice. So that's less enemies to for me to fight and not get XP, but just so I can make a save point and just move on with the story.